Hi, my name is Blake Dobbins and this is thumb taping. So usually for uh, thumb taping, we would use uh, one inch and one and a half inch, but we only have one and a half inch today, unfortunately. So we're gonna go with that. So what we want is we want our subject's um, hand to be in a neutral position and we want the fingers to be slightly spread. And we're gonna start with an anchor on the wrist. Okay, then from that anchor, this is where we'd usually use the one inch, we are going to do a figure eight around the thumb. So we go right here, and what you're pretty much just going to lay it down and bring it back, then bring it around the wrist one time. And that's one figure eight. And we're going to repeat that two times, going slightly up on the thumb each time. So, around the wrist. And one more time. And then with this, it's going to be pulling the thumb into a more flexed position. Then from there, we're going to do what is called a C shift. These are more popular with football players. And what we're pretty much going to do is essentially just cover the one inch tape with one and a half. But like I said, only have one and a half. So we're just going to be going over it. And with these C strips, we're going to repeat until we go all the way up the thumb. And with each repeat, we're going to be overlapping by about half a tape width. And now for our final strip, we're going to start on the back of the hand, then we're going to bring it through, you want to crease and bring it between the webbing of the thumb and the index finger, and then come around, covering all this, and then just wrap it around the wrist one time. Once we do that, we're just going to mold it to the subject's hand, make sure we have a good fit. And then I'll show you our finished product from all angles. And that is fun taping.